Did you know there's a new emergency hospital just for pets? Animal Emergency Care, open when your regular veterinary is closed at 4176 Meridian and online at animalemergencycare.net. Well, I had never even heard of a lion head rabbit, but they're cool. Meet our Cafe Critter of the Week. Look at all that hair. Awesome. Hi, Laura Clark from the Walking Humane Society. Good morning. Is it not amazing? I've just been doing this nonstop, and this poor bunny has been so patient just sitting here, allowing me to have hair jealousy, because if Mm -hmm. this were my hair, you could do a mohawk one day, and you could put some out here, or you could do beetle bangs. You could do that. I mean, there's so many options, really. You know, there's a drawer in the men's room here at Cafe, and in there is somebody's gel that's been there forever. We could gel him up or gel her up. Yes, and then you could do like a pompadour, and you could relive the 50s. Right. Yeah. Oh, the the possibilities are endless. So this is Ninja. Ninja's about five years old. She's a female bunny. She is so mellow, so sweet, and as you can see, very tolerant. She was brought in by a family that just didn't have the time or knowledge or really the patience to handle a bunny with this type of hair. Grooming is a must for this bunny. You're going to have to keep up on that. It's really easy, especially on the back end, to get matted. Um, And also keep up with the nails. Just like dogs and cats, you need to make sure the nails stay trimmed. Um, Regular veterinary care, high-quality diet. I brought in one of her favorite snacks that our volunteers make for the bunnies at the shelter. They call these firecrackers, and it's just a great way to have bunny enrichment. So it's basically their hay. Just put it in a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. It's kind of the equivalent of a dog Kong. You know, you have yeah, your dog right. Kongs that you fill with peanut she, butter or whatever. She has to work a little bit to get it out Yeah, of so you put it in their kennel with them during the day. They all get them in the morning, and it gives her something to work at. So she'll she'll chew up the paper, which can't hurt her, and to get the hay out. And it's just a fun, inexpensive way to be able to give your bunny some daily enrichment. So, so she's not going to eat the tube? She, she might ingest a little bit of it, but it's just a little fiber for you. Yeah. But what she's really going to want to do is just rip it to shreds, which that's just good fun, sure. right? So she's looking for a mellow home where she can be loved. Again, the regular grooming is going to be the big deal, but um, she's a middle-aged girl looking for somebody who will love her forever. All right, very good. Her name is Ninja. She's a lion head Ninja. bunny. With all that hair. So, okay, you say regular grooming. Does that mean just brushing her every day or does it take more than that? You know, I would definitely talk to both your local veterinarian and go to your locally owned pet supply store and get um, some type of brush that would work for this hair because it is unique. And I was messing with her earlier today and noticed she had a few things actually caught in her that I couldn't get out. I actually had to cut them out. And so I want to keep up on that. I'd say every couple days, regular yeah. grooming to make sure that she doesn't have anything caught in there. Because if you had to drag all this hair around with you and you were this close to the ground, things like this hay is going to get caught up. It's sort of, she's sort right. of like a, a Roomba for bunnies. Just <laughs> everything comes with her as she walks around. Okay. If I was interested in a bunny and I'm willing to do the work, but I really don't want to have to deal with the long hair, do you have a short hair option right now? We have lots of bunnies right now. So you can come take a look. And if you're just looking at, well, I've always wanted a bunny, but I don't know a lot about them. Check out the website rabbit.org. It will tell you anything and everything you need to know. Very good. And you've got dogs and cats and Probably lizards and everything you else. You name it, we've got it. Come on down and visit. Very good. Laura Clark from the Joaquin Humane Society. Thank you so much. Have a great week. And by the way, thanks to Mandy for running the camera today. Scotty wasn't available, so she's doing double duty. Thank you, Mandy.